Hello, my name is Pavel Zoch and I have created a new tutorial for you. This tutorial covers a very interesting topic, an advanced use of the Cinema 4D MoGraph matrix object because this object can be used on many very different tasks. We will use it as a primary thinking particle generator, without express editing, without nodes, without an external plugin or any other advanced stuff. We will combine this powerful particle system with an old Paracoster engine to produce a pretty cool effect. I looked a bit about myself. I am an official Cinema 4D local evangelist and generalist. I worked as an official support member of Cinema 4D for Czech and Slovak Republics for more than 11 years. I have written 100 articles on Cinema 4D, recorded hundreds of hours of video tutorials and I created a Czech version of Cinema 4D as well. You can view my work at the official Maxon website in Cinema 4D brochures and other Maxon PR stuff as well. About the lesson itself. The most important feature of Cinema 4D is its ability to combine connectivity between many different features and toolsets within Cinema 4D. We can combine many different technologies to achieve breathtaking effects without external tools or plugins. On the other hand, Cinema 4D is a very popular application and many independent developers produce really cool plugins and toolsets as well. It is really very important for me though that Cinema 4D is very strong as it is due to internal connectivity of all its features. You usually don't need an external plugin from a common point of view. This lesson is an example of this most important aspect of Cinema 4D. The main topic of the lesson is an advanced use of the matrix object from the MoGraph module as a thinking particles generator. This means the matrix object can generate thinking particles without nodes, without expression and visualized programming. It's really very cool because we can still use all other features of MoGraph. We can still use all its effectors and combine them. However, we can apply Cinema 4D deformers and standard particle systems as well. The lesson has two main heroes and topics. The first example shows how to generate nice looking clothes in any shape you like. It is not a problem to have a car shape if you like. The computing speed will be still pretty good as well. The first topic covers all main tasks needed. These tasks are a matrix object as a particle generator, sync particles elementary settings and particle effect settings as well. The second topic is much more complex. It's a nice looking tornado effect generated with a Cinema 4D particle emitter, matrix, deformers and thinking particles generated by matrix and power cluster. We will learn how to build a complex wall matrix system and combine many effects and features together. With particle system simulations, you may want to see a static frame many iterations deep. For example, you may want to see the state of the effect 1000 frames into the simulation. I will teach you a very clever method to achieve this little having to watch every frame render. Also, we will cover how to rig the system in case you will need to animate it. The animation rigging itself is based on a deformer approach, simply because Cinema 4D deformers are very powerful. When considering an advanced particle effect within Cinema 4D, most believe that the old Parkoster system is really out of date and that the thicker particles are not user friendly. However, if you combine more Cinema 4D features, you can get an amazing combo that's able to resuscitate this very old Parkoster effect as well. Thank you for watching and see you at www.c4d.cz.